So for this example, we have the problem statement is locate the centroid x bar of the parabolic area. So we have this parabolic area um, within this region, and we have the equation y is equal to h divided by x a squared times x squared, and we have the dimensions a for the x axis and the dimension h for the y axis. Now let's go back to the equation of the centroid with respect to the x axis. So we have the x bar is equal to the integral of x bar dA divided by the integral with respect to dA. So now this is where we actually, since we're integrating, we're assuming we're splitting this um, area up into an infinite amount of smaller areas, for instance. So after choosing the arbitrarily small um, portion of this area, we have this rectangle here. Just imagine this being infinitely small. The closer you zoom in, the more this will become a actual rectangle. So we have the height of this rectangle, which is h take away y, and we have the width of this being dx. Now this x bar is equivalent to the x, so it'll be the centroid of this arbitrary, um, arbitrarily small area that we just chose, some small element of that area being x. Now the area of a rectangle is equal to a length times width, so it's going to be um, the h take away y times x. Now if you want to do the dA, the derivative of that area will be h take away y times dx here. So this is actually your dA that you're going to be using to integrate to find that x bar. So let's go ahead and actually use the formula now. So the integral of x times dA, which is h take away y d x. But keep in mind, we also have the y function here with respect to x. So we just plug it in for y here. Let's go ahead and finish writing this up. h take away y dx. So now let's go ahead and plug in for y and simplify the integrals here. So we have the integral from 0 to a, and after distributing the x and plugging for y, we have x times h take away h divided by a squared times x cubed dx, and the denominator here is the integral from 0 to a, h take away h divided by a squared times x squared dx. Now let's go ahead and integrate and um, simplify this further. So we have the integral, which is h over 2, x squared, take away h divided by 4a squared, x to the power 4 from 0 to a. Then the denominator is h times x, take away h divided by 3a squared times x cubed um, from 0 to a. And let's keep on simplifying this. So we have h divided by 2a squared, take away h divided by 4a squared times a to the power 4. So we see that a squared cancels, and we're left with a squared here. Now for the denominator, we have h times a, take away h divided by 3a squared times a cubed. So this cancels and we're left with 1a. Now we could keep on simplifying this until we finally get our answer. So we finally have x bar is equal to 3 eighths a. So this is where, with respect to the x location, this the centroid of the area is located. Now you can actually do the same problem, but do it um, find the the y bar. So you could find that. So you could actually define the center of the area 